was Ghana versus Nigeria at the famous Babaya Raspo Stadium on March 25, 2022. It was a World Cup qualifier and the atmosphere was irresistible. On the night, the over 40,000 spectators that filled the stadium generated an ambience that confirms Ghanaian's passion for football. But when it comes to these same soccer fans patronizing the local league, the passion is amazed. If we look at the header from Mensa. Just look, zoom into the top corner. This is the Babayara Sports Stadium in the Ashanti Regional Capital, Kumasi, the home venue for Ghana's top flight sides, Asante Kotoko and Kinfeza. The venue has been admitting fans in large numbers, but attendance has experienced a sharp decline in recent times in matches involving Asante Kotoko and Kinfeza. I just look at the finish, super finish. The worrying situation prevails in most parts of the country as Ghana Premier League clubs like Hasofuk, Great Olympics, Dreams FC have all experienced low attendance at their match venues. The idea for Insure Power Sports and Love FM to embark on the hashtag Fail GPL Centers was hashed when head of sports at Insure FM, Bismarck Ousibempa, known in the media space as Ayala, was making a submission on local issues, especially on attendance in recent times. As Power Sports, no, in your first quarter year of the year, no, mm -hmm. one of your campaigns must look into the Indian Kofonko Stadium. I'll say a better look seriously. Football, eh? Without spectators, are going in your day. Boring. Our checks reveal a Santi Kotoko averaged 4,585 spectators per game at the Babara Sports Stadium in the 2021 22 Ghana Premier League, which is about 11% of the stadium capacity of 40,618. When the same club played Canopilis in August 2019, in the CAF Champions League, 29,409 spectators occupied the Babaya Sports Stadium. According to some football enthusiasts, the deplorable nature of Ghana's smart venues, bad publicity, economic challenges, high ticket pricing and other reasons are some factors that have occasioned poor attendance at the various stadia in Ghana. The way our management, especially Kotoko, the way they market the league, it is only today that I'm hearing that Kotoko will be playing with Olympics. Pitches and the corruption. Transportation constraints. And then the referee will be cheating. I, for instance, the last time I came with my uncle, it was Kotoko Hearts match around 2011, 2010. And somebody stole our car. Okay. Several announcements. We couldn't find a car. They thought about it. They were playing with them. They did it. No, and we were hiding. No, police told me to meet him. Yes, he met him the whole day. And he had no clothes on. The reality of the critical situation dawned when only 950 soccer fans watched Kotoko versus Betim United in the MTNFA Cup on Boxing Day, December 26, 2022, at the famous Kumasi Sports Stadium. Supporters, Danny Dang in a moment time with Timich. Okay. A co opted management member of Asante Kotoko in charge of events and promotions, Patrick Osayajiman, popularly known as Countryman Songo rushed to the studios of Inshua FM on his knees to plead with fans to throng the stadium to watch Kotoko versus Olympics. In charge of Monday supporters more. At the Accra Sports Stadium, Hasafuk recorded the highest attendance in the 2020-21 Ghana Premier League season when they faced their Accra rivals at Sante Kotoko, but only 9,500 out of the stadium capacity of 40,500 people watched the game. This is very poor, considering this fixture is Ghana's biggest fixture on the domestic scene. The situation is not too different in Cape Coast and Tamale. For Gaka Chairman Kojo a meeting has been scheduled with the Sports Ministry to salvage the situation. As I speak to you now, a couple of months ago, to remind with His Excellency the Vice President, and some of the things that His Excellency took on board was the concern of the effectiveness of the internet around some of the venues, because you try to connect to the software and it becomes a problem. So he promised that he will get the Communication Ministry to look at some of those things.
And as I speak to you now, one meeting is in the office with the, the Honorable Minister for Women's Sports. So now, what are some of the solutions? Dreams FC head coach Ignatius Osefosu wants traditional clubs in Ghana revived. Let me take you back to the last 10 years. Apart from the usual Hassan and Kotoko, can you remember in the last 15 years? Can you remember some of the clubs apart from Hassan and Kotoko? So look, Adriana Stars is where. Yes, it's a domain based in traditional club. So Brukum Chelsea is a traditional for the people of Brukum. So we have to make cautious efforts to make traditional clubs work. Just imagine what people call is in, in the league. Look at BA United. Now all the traditional clubs are going now. Love and Insure FM will continue the campaign to highlight factors affecting low attendance at Premier League matches and champion recommendations to improve patronage of the local league. The hashtag for the campaign is Field GPL Centers. Stephen Zando for Joy Sports.